doctors still have to take the Hippocratic Oath, named after Hippocrates. And he's not the only Greek who gave his name to things. There was also Alexander the Great, a great military leader who conquered countries and founded cities. So, what shall we call this new city, O Alexander? Hmm? Oh, sorry. O Alexander the Great. Yeah. I think we should call it... Alexandria. After our great and powerful leader. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Well, you have founded a whole chain of cities from Greece to India. Indeed, I have. And you named this one Alexandria. Uh huh. And you named this one Alexandria, didn't you? Mm hmm. Then there's Alexandria. Yeah. Alexandria. Yeah. And further east, there's Alexandria. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's not forget Alexandria. No. Well, okay. that's that's the thing. I think it might be getting a bit confusing, don't you? Could we perhaps name this new one after someone else? <sighs> okay. I am the greatest military commander that ever lived. I have conquered the known world and I am barely 26 years old. Perhaps when you found your own city, you can name it after yourself. You could call it, hmm, Skinny Mandria. But since I'm founding them, I'd like to call it Alexandria. OK. Yes, sir. No, actually, do you know what? Perhaps you're right. Hmm? A great military ruler also listens to his advisers. It is getting a bit confusing. I think we should call it Iskanderun. Iskanderun, great. Mm. Why Iskanderun? It's Turkish. Is it Turkish for Alexandria? Yes.